So he's wanting to fight at 185. So that'll be interesting to see how he, because his, you know, one of his things was speed, and now that he's going to have this extra weight. I don't know, you know, it's harder to be faster when you're that big. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, Liver King's natural. Um, what do you the, think about the that? Rocks, of course, natural. Did you follow the Liver King thing? <laughs> oh yeah. So what? What do you think about that? Oh, uh, I, I mean, I. I always knew. I, I think the. I'm not mad that he lied about being natural. I'm mad that there's people that actually believe he was natural. <laughs> well, then <laughs> it's, so kind of, it's kind of like The Rock being like yeah. 50 and, and more and shredded natu- and bigger than he was when he was 20. Big, right. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be one of the guys you're mad at, and let me tell you why. I also realized that that's a very difficult, maybe impossible physique to liver king physique to get without enhancement, right? However, I followed the guy from inception, like when he first came out. And uh, although he had grown in the last few months to be way, way, way more over the top with everything, I I really do believe that humans underestimate their potential. And so I was like, maybe this guy really has maximized his potential. He's eating like a a caveman. He's doing these hard workouts. He's done it forever. And I was like, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not saying he wasn't. So my wife was your mindset and is angry with me. Because she's like, you're an idiot. Well, I I like to think I agree with you about humans not having Mm -hmm. their full potential realized. But without advocating for cruelty to animals, I'd rather see gorillas, see how far they can go. Because you think they don't have any weightlifting or Mm -hmm. like nutrition training, Mm -hmm. but they can deadlift like 2,000 pounds. So I want to see if we can get a gorilla on steroids and in a gym. I just want (laughs) to see how much they can bench press. Yeah. Well, that made me. I was gonna. I, I got to get another comment on that, but I was bringing up another thing. I ask ask people about. It's a Joe Rogan question about who would win between a grizzly bear and a gorilla, and we get your opinion on it. But uh, I want to circle back on Liver King. Oh, I thought that was. Uh, I thought he was coming in here. I don't know if you guys on the mics heard, but we we got some noise in the other room. We have, we have extremely thin walls. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the new place, we're gonna have to make sure we got it all insulated better. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing, folks. That uh, next year we're gonna be building out a new studio at a new location. It'll be bigger, better, and badder, and all that stuff. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, um, yeah, I, I agree. But one thing I would change, I actually wish, and this is gonna give me some, especially if Josh makes it a a clip. This is gonna get me some haters i think that in professional sports steroids should be legal because most of them are doing them anyway and if i'm paying money to come watch some dude fight some dude that's getting paid or a football player i want to see the biggest jacked human possible why why do we say oh no you know the the, the playing field's not level because all of them are doing different stuff. You know, mm-hmm. like, look when they did the uh, Tour de France, and everybody was all on Lance Armstrong, and then they couldn't even award it to anybody because it was, what, like 80th was the next highest rank the guy that they could maybe say didn't do the blood doping. So I, I'm kind of the opposite. I, I'd like, man, let them get – if they want. And you got you to understand there's risk, but if you want to do it, do it. Uh, what about a, uh, a natural league and a steroid league? Because I, I agree with you. I'd like to see like yeah. like a 400-pound like linebacker yeah. cut some guy in half in the middle of the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just decapitates him when he hits him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they have that. in Like, like bodybuilding is a good example. Right. So bodybuilding. But I did – so I did competitive powerlifting. And there are, there are divisions. There's a, there's a tested division. But even that, there's ways around it. Like I was – when I did the competitive powerlifting – uh, I was natural. I had nothing. And I mean, I think you could even kind of look at me. I, I was even doing stuff like gaining weight because at the time a power belly would help you with some of the lifts because you would push your gut against the belt, creates a stable frame for your deadlift and your squat, right? Anyway, I was natural. I looked natural, I looked fat, but I was stronger than I'd ever been. But I had some competitors ripped to the gills, you know, and yanking up weight. And it's in the, the we were in, I was competing in the clean division. I know that some of them were roided up. There's just no way. You know what I mean? Like, so I just feel like I think if you made it where it was acceptable, because think of it this way: in the steroid league, uh, why can't we just have it's the, this is the league? You know, like right now, so it's not a stigma attached to it. And then I think they're more likely compete in that league. But then, man, people are so competitive. If you have a natural league, you're still gonna have folks trying to mess the system up so. yeah and i don't think anybody would want to watch the the natural league over the steroid league anyways did you watch the mr olympia this weekend no i didn't okay so i did I, I follow all that kind of stuff right i follow these fringe sports mostly combat sports bodybuilding boxing collegiate wrestling um what else do i watch 
anything combat. I like gymnastics. I think that's an, a, a very impressive ex, uh, demonstration of human performance. Like I think they're undervalued. It's very difficult. Uh, but anyway, I watch all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so the Mr. Olympia, what they did is they've got several different divisions now. They got this classic physique. They got the traditional Olympia. They've got women's bodybuilding, women's bikini phys figure physique, all this stuff. And I would almost bet every one of them, women included, are on some kind of performance enhancing stuff. I mean, it's just virtually impossible to compete at that level without it. Uh, but you're right. The ones that win are the freaks. You know, nobody wants to see. But then they then they want to dog on them when it comes out. All of a sudden, they're on roids. Right, right. So it, uh, again, I, it's fine. I just uh, I think there should be like a little bit of separation between the roid mm -hmm. league and the the non roid league. Obviously, if you don't want to do the things that could potentially damage your body, uh, which of course powerlifting might do it anyways. But yeah. if you want to keep your like uh, bloodstream clean and just be natural, I think that you should have a a room to compete where you're not at a so steep disadvantage against the next guy who's chemically enhanced that why even bother at that point?